us after what's been called a gas station fraud epidemic by some city leaders. Madison City Council approved an ordinance requiring upgraded security on city gas pumps. News 3's Keely Arthur tells us how the change will help many residents, even though it is too late for one woman. The ordinance passed requires all Madison gas stations to get individualized locks. Right now, most are controlled by a universal key. So if you get a hold of one of these, you can open just about any pump, which has cost some people a lot of money. Honestly, you feel like you're going to vomit. <laughs> An appropriate reaction for Emily Aikwright as Associated Bank alerted her that $1,400 was stolen from her account. You know, they had to walk me through, does anybody have your PIN? Does anybody have access to your card? And I, there's no one that has access to my card. My card is actually still in my possession um, and no one has my PIN. And with that, Emily concluded she was likely the victim of a skimmer, a device placed inside gas pumps that steal card information while you fill up. But to feel like somebody can get a hold of that and use kind of what you've worked pretty hard for, um, just pretty quick, pretty simple. Just seems a little bit unfair. An ordinance requiring individualized gas pump keys at all city stations by the start of next year will make it much harder to install those skimmers. Eight locks, one key will fit those eight locks. Okay. That one key will fit 8,000 locks, okay. which is what we have now. Local gas station owner Mike Severson is ahead of the game. He'll have new keys in by next week. Now we need to make our customers feel safe. They can use the pay at the pump and feel comfortable about it. But not everyone is so happy about the change. At a city council meeting earlier this week, Jennifer Badeau of the Wisconsin Petroleum Marketers Association spoke out against the rule, saying it's costly. The cost of the locks, we believe, are at least $100 per dispenser. So that's adding at least $200,000. Emily is still working with her bank to retrieve the stolen debit card money. For now, though, she's taking comfort knowing other people might not have to go through the same thing. Maybe I'll be able to feel safe using my card again. And in addition to getting new locks, all pumps will also need to get chip card readers starting next fall, adding to security. In Madison, Keely Arthur, WISC News 3. A card skimming device was also found on a gas pump in Greene County today. The device was on a pump at the Judah Oasis. Investigators believe it was installed within the past 10 days.